Okay, today we are looking at Taoism. Uh, now, years ago, I read this book called The Tao Pu. Excellent read. Uh, it really goes into the philosophy and also the religion that is Taoism. Now, Taoism, before we get going, Taoisms mean, the Tao means the way. Okay, And uh, Pu, Pu is a very important word, P-U. Pu means the uncarved block. And in Taoism, the uncarved block is the simplest form that something has. And things have most power in their simplest form. The founder of Taoism was a guy named Lao Tzu, and um, these are his philosophies. Now, the painting I have here is a typical Taoist type painting. The Taoists liked nature scapes because nature is in its most simple form. It is most powerful being untouched by people. And we'll get into this. Okay. Now, Pu. Pu is the epitome of the uncarved block. Okay. Pu is um, the simplest form. His interests are very simple. All he wants is honey. And he doesn't have any brain. He doesn't think. He doesn't, he's not very complex. He is a very simple creature. Okay. Also, Pu is not arrogant. Uh, and he doesn't have this exaggerated sense of himself. He's very childlike, and life is fun because he's spontaneous. And things work out for Pooh. Okay, one thing that Pooh said about himself is, a fish can't whistle and neither can I. There's nothing wrong that I can't whistle. Um, now, the uncarved block, to go into this a little bit differently. Okay, if you have a tree, a tree is an uncarved block. It can do anything. Okay, it can be... A house. You can cut it down, turn it into a house. You can cut it down, turn it into firewood. You can cut it down, turn it into paper. You can cut it down and do all these things with it. You can even just trim a branch. But anytime you cut or carve on that tree, it limits its potential in the future. And so the simplest form is the untouched tree because it can house birds. It can provide air and oxygen for the atmosphere. And it can still be used for other things. So that simplest form is its most powerful. And that's what Pooh represents. Winnie the Pooh is very simple. Uh, and we can look at this too because the characters that Pooh shares on the story of Winnie the Pooh aren't so simple. Okay. Rabbit. Rabbit is clever. Okay. And these are different types of knowledge. Uh, rabbit reminds me of a sixth grade boy. Okay, they say things to be clever, they get la laughed at. And Rabbit likes to be thought of as clever. Okay, when I was in sixth grade, I liked to be thought of as clever. So I was constantly saying things and getting in a little bit of trouble. Now, clever and wisdom are not the same thing. Okay, wisdom and cleverness, wisdom has more depth to it. Cleverness is very shallow. It may just hit the surface of something. And so clever doesn't reveal a deeper insight into anything. Now, wisdom, I think in Taoism, the greatest wisdom is knowing yourself, not knowing something outside of yourself, okay? Eeyore. Now, Eeyore seeks wisdom just enough so he can complain. And uh, uh, he is only happy when he finds something that he can complain about. And that blocks his enjoyment in life, okay? Eeyore can't be spontaneous. He can't follow those things because... He wants to complain. He wants to find the problem with whatever he's doing. So he can say, hey, found it. This is dumb. I, just, I knew it wouldn't work. And that is when he can be validated in his own ideas about what life is about. Owl. Owl is a very good one to look at because owls are supposed to be smart. Okay. And so owl is defined by what others perceive of him. He thinks, oh, I need to be this because owls are smart, so I need to be smart. This is fascinating because... Our society puts a lot of pressure on all of us to do something that they think we should do. And so Owl really represents what I think most people are. Um, okay, Owl gets into wisdom just to be smart or just for being knowledgeable for knowledge's sake. Uh, and But Owl's wisdom is very limited. He can only talk to other Owls because he is too intelligent. Okay, I hate to say this, but... Al reminds me of some uh, professors up on campus. Okay, they know a whole lot about very little. Uh, there's kind of a joke that the higher up in education you go, the more you know about less and less. 
because they begin to focus their studies. Um, now, Al's knowledge does not come from experience. It comes from books. In Taoism, experience or experiential knowledge is much better than book knowledge. Now, Tigger. Tigger is another opposite of Pooh. Tigger's, well, Tigger says he can do anything, okay? Because the wise know the limitations and the foolish do not. Tigger's foolish. He thinks he can do everything. And so he's always getting himself into trouble. Um, now, most of the time, I can be a Tigger because a lot of times I will say, oh, yeah, I can do that. But then I get into it and I find that I get myself into trouble. I need help. I need somebody else to help me out on that. And so Tiggers uh, don't always know their limitations. This is probably the strongest character besides Pooh in uh, Way the Pooh, Hundred Acre Woods, and also in Taoism. Uh, Piglet knows himself very well. And notice I used uh, the, the, the non-binary pronoun themself. Uh, Piglet is brave because they are afraid. Okay, you can't be brave unless you have some fear. Uh, if you have no fear, then it's normal. Okay, it's an everyday task. Okay, there's nothing to be afraid of, so why would you be brave? If you know something can go wrong, if you know there's something to be afraid of, that takes bravery. Okay, now Piglet listens to their self very well, uh, their inner self. Piglet knows what they can do, what they can't do. And so Piglet is a very Taoist creature. They can do many things because they know the limitations in it and they know when to ask for help. Okay. Uh, so Taoism. Taoism is one of my favorite uh, ancient philosophies because it does carry that message that you need to be yourself. Uh, you need to find out who you are. You don't just have to follow the crowd and fulfill other people's perceptions of who you should be. Um, you could be, I mean, think of any stereotype that you can think of about a person. Uh, they could be big and burly and think that they need to play football. Maybe not. Uh, they could be athletic, and so people say that this person needs to be in the sports, but they really want to read books. Um, there's so many things that this applies to. And as you grow up, hopefully you become to know, you get to know yourself better and better. That way you know what you can and can't do and make yourself happy because really in Taoism the goal of life is to find your inner self to find out what your possibilities are and emphasize what you're naturally built for if you have any questions shoot me an email and today's assignment is going to be tell me which poo character you think you are pretty simple and why talk to you later